Hey y'all, it's Erica with Shaquelle. I want to review a wig for you today, but first I want to talk a little bit about my hair journey and why I started wearing wigs. This is my bio hair. This is about as good as it gets. It's freshly washed. I tried to style it and this is all I have. So I have thinning hair where you can see the scalp and at the ends my hair is frizzy and thin and stringy and really no matter what I do I'm not going to get a lot of volume. It just kind of is what it is and I used to waste a lot of time trying different styling products getting it just right that I thought it looked good only to walk out of the house and get hit by the humidity and it end up back like this. So I decided to try a wig. I was afraid to try wigs at first because I thought that you had to glue them down and that once you put it on, it was on your head for an extended period of time. You wouldn't be able to take it off. I just... I had a lot of fears. Thankfully, I have friends that had already started on a wig journey and they were able to help guide me. But y'all, it has been so freeing and so amazing for my self-confidence because I can now walk out of the house with the hair that I've always wanted. And I'm going to show you exactly how easy that can be. First step is trying to find a wig that is similar to your bio hair in color and length. That would be step one for finding your first wig. You don't want to go all crazy and be scared to walk out of the house because you think everybody's going to be looking at you. You want to find a wig that is similar to what your bio hair was or you wish it could be in style and in color. So y'all, let me show you the wig that I have found. This is what I always tried to get with my bio hair, but I was never successful. This is Beltress Califia in Butterbeer Blonde. She is a heat-friendly synthetic wig, so I could use heat on her to curl her, straighten her. I really just like the wave pattern, so I would leave her just as is. But this cap is open wefted, which means it's going to be cool and stretchy. It's got a nape here with these um, cinch close tabs on the side. It's got velvet ear tabs. And then in the front, it's got a left mono part and a temple to temple lace front. Lace front's going to be important if you want to wear the wig off your, your head and it have a natural looking hairline. So let's put her on and let me show you what I always dreamed of for my bio hair. So not only do I have flat, fine, thin hair, but I also don't know how to get beachy waves in hair. I have tried a curling iron. I have tried a straightening iron. I have tried everything that I see on the internet and I have yet to figure out how to create the beachy waves. Well, with wigs, you can buy one that already has the be beachy waves. And y'all, the style is perfect. This length is perfect. And I have to say, I absolutely love the color. So Beltress does a really good job with their lace fronts. They're very similar to Raquel Welch, and they put this band of blonde in the front. If you object to that, you could go in and tweeze a few of these out so that you don't see that band. I don't object to it. I rather like the light um, close to my forehead. I think it brightens everything up. This does not have any permatease, so it's not huge volume, which I love huge volume, but that's not like my, my bio hair. So I want something that's going to look like it could be my bio hair, but better. So y'all, this wig is amazing. Pretty low density, low profile. You can easily tuck it. It looks very natural. The seam right here, the way you would get away with disguising that seam is just pull out a little piece of the blonde. That's going to cover it. 
even tuck it under like that. So this wig you can also pull away from the face and wear her, let's see, just getting all the fibers out, and wear her away from the face. You could put a headband on her. She is just a really cute, natural looking wig. So this would be a great option if you have, if you want a bob hairstyle with a little bit of wave, a little bit of movement, be able to style her off the face. She's absolutely gorgeous. And this color Root Beer Float Blonde is awesome. It's a cool tone color, so not a lot of warm tones in here, but so, so pretty. So just to recap, if you are looking for your first time wig, Look for something that you're going to feel, feel comfortable leaving the house in. I know so many people that have bought wigs after wigs and they don't put them on to go outside the house because they're afraid of what people will think. If you are to the point where you want to buy a wig because you either don't have any bio hair or you don't like your bio hair or you're losing your bio hair, then be brave. You can do this. Put on a wig that's similar to what you're used to and go outside in confidence. My guess is you're going to get a compliment on that wig. Somebody's going to say, oh my gosh, I love your hair. That's what happened to me. And my response is, thank you. You too can have it. You don't have to do that though. You could just simply say thank you and go on about your day. So if I can help you in your wig journey, please reach out to me in the comments below. Click on the description below and expand it and you will see the link to this specific wig and to all of our websites. I would love to help you if you have any questions. Thanks so much for joining me.